to another episode of Technical Tuesdays, this week the handstand push-up. The approach we'll take in this video is show you what not to do and then give you quite a long demonstration on what to do. The approach Jack is doing here is he's just bringing his heels down to his bum, flicking his legs up and hoping that's going to get him up there. Without it being a really efficient kip, it actually puts a lot more pressure on his upper body and his arms. Here, Jack brings his feet together and splays his knees out wide. Again, it's not very efficient. He's not really engaging his core. He's using his legs to just flick up and his upper body is doing most of the work. In this clip, Jack again brings his feet together, knees splayed out wide, except when he kips, his legs go outwards. This then is quite inefficient because we want the kip trajectory to be upwards, helping you with the movements and not hindering it by moving the distribution elsewhere. This is more of what we want to be looking at. Think of your legs being in their power position, such as they would be in an Olympic lift or even a squat. Notice immediately how much more control Jack has in this movement, how he can go faster in between each reps and just generally how it looks better. And finally, we'll just slow it down. You want to look at those legs coming into a squat position, a uh, power position. When he gets there, he really engages his core, extends his legs upwards and just makes it much more of an efficient movement. Now remember guys, be sure you have the strict movements down before you look into doing the kipping movements.